Hello everybody, I am Mr. Sargenti and I am going to be discussing Minecraft logic gates today, specifically the XOR gate and how it relates to the three-way switching of a Minecraft railway. I do a little uh, addition to it which makes it something maybe like an XNOR gate or I'm adding an AND gate. I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing, but I will show you exactly what I'm doing, and I think it'll help you. I learned how to do this from uh, watching a video by a guy named Sir Kyle. It really helped me, and uh, I think I have a little bit to add to it because I can pop these things in pretty quick now. So let me show you what I'm doing. Welcome to my snowy little biome, and here what we have is a problem which was the, the problem of switching three different directions of track. It's pretty simple, and the way that you solve this is to be able to switch it from any direction is to have these little uh, XOR gates. And I made it, I try to keep things neat, you know, so when I'm riding around you can see it switches there. So I have it underground, and I'll show you how I do that. And then you switch it from here, and it switches. All right. Switchy, switchy. And you come over here, and you get a little switchy, switchy. I have a snowy biome that runs forever, and I like to connect to the different areas through um, my little rail system. And I like to ride around on my rail system and be able to just grab the switch as I go by and deciding on whichever way I feel like going. So let me show you how I do these uh, three rail switches. What I do is I make a big hole in the ground and maybe 10 by 10, something like that. And um, so whatever size, you'll figure out what's what's best for you. There it is. Behold, my uh, XOR gate system for this uh, system. Now, it looks maybe a bit intimidating, but there's really nothing to it um, when you break it down to small components. It's not that hard. The XOR gate is really this one thing right here, that, that goodie right there at the bottom of the screen. Now, it's got two switches and it's the switches are running out here is one it goes in the side and normally the other one would come out here but we need three switches so it runs into a second gate and we'll get into that in a minute I'm just gonna show you what the first gate is like I made some extra room over here so I could just build one let's build one right here and uh, get to familiar with what they are. I've gotten to where I can just pop these things in. You can see here the pattern is still on the dirt. Um, it's like that. There's one there and one there. That's really the pattern of this thing. So you memorize that. And the other thing you want to memorize is there's seven torches that go on this thing. So seven torches. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh no, not there, not there. It's five in the back, two in the front. It's like a car, Kyle said, and it's it's true. It's like a, like a giant car of some kind. It's pretty cool. I love these things. Now, all you got to do is throw some redstone in the right places, and you'll memorize this. It's really not that big of a deal. So... The redstone goes there, there, and there. You can refer to this video, pause it, whatever, and just build a bunch of these things. You'll see that they uh, they work great for switching stuff from multiple places. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put a hole here and throw a torch up here and just throw some more redstone there. Whoops. Because one thing, uh, the way I do mine, because I like to keep them neat, I keep them underground, I made a bunch and decided I would do it this way. And the it has the addition of this torch that is directly under switching 
the uh, actual rail. So the way I do that is uh, this switch here, you'll throw it and it'll send a signal down. It'll go in here and go down there and switch it, right? We did that already. Let's do it again. There you go. You can see it switch. And what's happening is these lights on the XOR gate are switching off and on from side to side. Now this side will do it and it'll switch it. And if you go to the other one, which I don't think we can see it from there, but if you do, you can see that it powers the same gate and the same lights are going off and on. They're going off and on in the very front there too. You see those torches down there. I don't pretend to know the inner workings of it. My brother's an electronic engineer. I'm sure he could explain it to you, but I just know how to make them work and how to, how to make them go. I don't know how the guitar works. I just pick it up and play it. You know what I mean? So uh, this is that kind of a situation now. The best way to visualize these things is as if the switches are on the side like this. That's the best way to start thinking about them. And that way you can see it as a complete unit. Here's the unit. It's got its little switches on the side. It's got seven torches. Uh, what, five, six blocks, something like that. Six blocks. And, and an output. The output can go to anything. In this case, it goes to a torch. And uh, we'll just throw some track up there. So, huh. Well, that's not making it very fun, is it? Get rid of that. Do that. Do that. Gosh, I'm really having a good time here on this one. I'll have to cut this out. Okay. That. Do this again. That, 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 and that. There. Now we got a switch similar to that. And it's the same setup as we have over there, but it's running off of this one we just made as an example. Okay, with two switches. So if I take this switch, and just take my word for it, when that torch goes out, that, uh, that rail is switching. So you can see it's going to the right right now. Now it's going to the left. So, And the other one does the same thing. So either way you go, no matter which way the switches are thrown, you just throw it the opposite direction on your way by, and off it goes. Now you can pull these switches off of here and just move them on to somewhere else. They don't need to come out of the side. They can come out of the back. Right. We'll just throw one up here real quick. And uh, just for the sake of explanation, we'll throw that out there. And throw a little more redstone in there. Throw a switch right there. You can see the redstone go off and on. And when the redstone goes off and on, the, uh, the gate works. So it's hard to see. But those torches will go off and on. It needs the other switch on it, though, too. So you got to have all your little components just right. So now this one would either go to a second switch or if you need the third one then you've got to take a lead off of this and I'll show you that switch one it's up there there's your output comes in here and off the second switch goes around to the output of the other AND gate now this one's sitting there because it's got room for another two switches just like the other one so one switch is going to run through here and it's going to run oh, let me back up a little bit out to those switches right so the back of that powers those two switches you just go underground 
make some room for it and you've got your next two switches so you got three switches off of this little system and it needs a repeater because it goes over like say 13 or 15 whatever the number is for redstone uh, units before it expires so you'll need to repeat one repeater depending on how far you go and I've started doing these all over my little biome uh, wherever I have a switch so that I need I just use those two things so that's kind of how it works and I hope that helps you um, you can run lights and different things off of these circuits it's only limited by your creativity so that is an XOR gate and that is how you switch your thing uh, anytime you need to and you can just cover it back up and nobody will even know it's there so you just reverse your little fill command to replace everything with dirt and uh, off you go to the races and you can even replace the snow layer while we're at it. Here's a little bonus command for you. Boom. Hit the snow layer too. All right. That's it. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, definitely leave a comment.